Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to How Bailaron here in Farming Simulator 22 with me, Siwari. It is November. And straight away, everyone's going to be like, hang on a minute. You told us at the end of the last video you were going to be coming back at the end of winter? November's the beginning of winter. Yes, you're quite right. However, I feel I have to do this video because between the end of the last video and me sitting down and starting to hit record on this one, I've discovered some other little weird and wonderful things with my save that I hadn't noticed in the last video, hadn't noticed in the video before that, that has only come to light since the last update from Giants. Again, I don't really want to start the video out by saying by having a bit of a moan about the update, messing things up and breaking more things than it's fixed. But um, something very weird I noticed. I sold my silage and I got paid quite a nice bit of money. I was then trying to figure out what I was going to do with that money. Should I buy fields or what should I do? I decided to buy a couple of buildings. Okay. One of them is over here at the bottom of field 43. This is a tailor shop. So when I've been and collected my fabric from the spinnery, rather than just selling the fabric on its own, I can now bring it down here to my very own tailor shop, tailorer, tailor factory. Okay. And I can turn it into pallets of clothes that's perfectly fine most people would you know think that's a very smart business decision gonna make far more money selling clothes again another end product another step down the line i then bought another building which is over here near my sheep pen because we did the grape harvest didn't we in the summer the end of the summer and I elected to store all my grapes in the silo and I was thinking what can I do with the grapes you know I'm not able you know it's a long time before I can sell them what happens if I bought myself a grape factory processing factory and I can turn the grapes into other things so I'm I want to turn my grapes into raisins okay perfectly plausible I went to my silo to get my grapes and I don't have any grapes my grapes have disappeared ladies and gentlemen all the grapes that I harvested a couple of episodes ago have just vanished disappeared they're not in the silo I then had a horrible feeling, maybe they're still on the field. Maybe, just maybe, I'd done something stupid where I harvested them, hadn't saved the game, exited, loaded back in the next turn uh, and hadn't realised that I had completely not finished harvesting, but no. The grapes are all harvested. In fact, now they are ready for pruning, ladies and gents. They are now ready for me to do the pruning bit and um, to get them ready for next year. But yes, I've lost an all my grape harvest. All the grapes that I harvested off of this field have just disappeared into thin air. Along with my mulcher and along with my um, subsoiler, ladies and gents. So, don't know what's happened there. I'm assuming it's something to do with the patch 1.3 update because it's. I've only noticed these things since I updated that they are missing. They were here last week before the update when I was recording. And now all of a sudden they are gone. So yeah, unfortunately, I've ended up losing my entire grape harvest. So what that means is all my lovely brand new production facility 
that is going to be making me some raisins at the minute, I've actually had to buy grapes. Hence why, despite me selling tons of silage, tons and tons and tons of silage, last episode, I don't have all that much money. I've only got 400,000 to play with at the minute. Um, so, yeah. I figured it was best to show you this now, so you can see it. <laughs> Rather than me explain to you what happened to me at the end of the winter. Because you'll likely try and turn around and say, Oh, he's just making this up for the entertainment and enjoyment of the videos. You know, he's just spinning as a yarn, try and make the videos more interesting, but really I'm not. I have no idea where my equipment's gone, and I have no idea where the grapes have gone out of my silo. So... Right now, <laughs> if you thought I was a little bit unhappy in the last video, and was in a little bit of a ramp mode, I'm definitely not very happy now. Because these grapes were not easy to harvest and stuff. And, you know, they, they take a lot of, um, a lot of attention. They require a lot of attention. do some obviously bush trimming get my grapes um reprep uh let's just Set up a GPS. I want to see what button is activating my GPS at the minute. It's my um, L3 stick again. Why is it left stick? It shouldn't be left stick, ladies and gents. Uh, I changed this the other week. that one auto drive full driver could be that one really need the dots though because it just makes it harder for me to see what I'm doing. So yeah, I bought two buildings because I figured, hey, you know what, if we're going to be, I can make clothes and if I can turn my grapes into something that's a bit more, that I can sell the higher price more times of the year, then I'm better off doing that rather than sitting on a silo load of grapes 
until like April time when I can sell them. Yeah. Don't know why they've disappeared. The only thing I can think of, and it, the only my the only possible thing I can think of as to why it's happened, is because when the game updated to patch 1.3, Steam's updated my obviously installation, and it's probably overwritten a lot of the files that I have edited myself that I've done tweaks and modifications to and I reckon because of that that's probably why my subsoiler and mulcher have disappeared um, because I'd edited those and I'm guessing the reason why the grapes have disappeared from my silo is because I'm guessing my if I was to go into my installation folder open up the fill types XML file I'm going to guess that grapes and olives are not allowed to be stored in a silo. I'm going to guess that Steam has reset my fill types. And therefore my um, grapes have disappeared. That's the only thing I can think of as to why it would have happened since the update. Is if some of my XMLs have been reset back to factory settings. But it obviously doesn't warn you when you load your game that, hold on a minute, your game data relies on files that uh, have been modified or altered since you last saved. Are you absolutely 100% sure you want to proceed with loading this? It could cause you a problem. Didn't get any kind of warnings like that. watch has gone off again then high heart rate your heart rate rose above 120 beats per minute whilst you seem to be inactive for the last 10 minutes um yeah probably my heart rate probably has risen because i'm quite angry <laughs> i'm flipping mad at the minute i just i just gone on online to do some streaming i was going to do some streaming from elm creek but it seems like it's a very quiet monday night with no one around so I figured rather than sit streaming to no audience and playing on a multiplayer server by myself, I'd be better off coming back into single player and recording some more videos uh, because I've only managed to get one recorded today so far and I would like to have got a week's worth of how Baylor on so I can record a week's worth of Calmston then tomorrow. But it's not worked out like that because I've had to do quite a bit of stuff off camera. Selling that silage took a while. Emptying my silo of silage. Speaking of my silo of silage, um, I bought myself the 18 van as well, by the way. I don't really have a need for it. I sold my bunker. You will have noticed my, my silage bunker is gone. I did say I was going to do that in the um, last video. Um, and I've got rid of the conveyor belt and also the compactor thingy me jiggy. That's gone. Um... What I'm going to do is we're just going to change this up and we're going to have this guy now selling some straw rather than silage because it's time to sell the straw. And then after he sold all the straw, which is about 500,000 litres, at that point I should be able to buy a new field um, or two. will be very useful like i say if i if i got grapes if i hadn't had to buy a load of grapes to replace the ones that i've lost i probably would have had close to six hundred thousand in the bank right now plus i've had to buy a few other 
bits and bobs to keep my productions running. Like the bakery, I've had to buy some butter and milk and stuff for that so I can keep making cakes because that was running low. So I've, I've had to buy all the materials for that again. Um, I've even bought some cotton for the spinnery just to see if I can get a little bit more fabric made. Now I've got the um, tailor um, building. So right now my money is not as good as it was. Put it this way, I had a lot more money after selling the silos than I do now. I've spent quite a bit. So the sooner we can get that money back, either by selling production items or... I don't, I, I don't think there's any contracts. There's no point in me looking at contracts because there's literally only like cultivating, ploughing and sowing contracts which don't pay anything on this map. On my settings they don't pay anything, they're not worth doing. Sowing contracts especially because obviously if I use the cedar that I'm leasing, <laughs> my cedar is leased so I end up having to pay for the cedar to do a contract and the contract doesn't cover the leasing costs <laughs> so yeah i've learned that um seeding contracts with my rented cedar are definitely not worth doing due to the high leasing costs and hourly charges that you get for using rented equipment per hourly fee Get a screenshot for the fumble nail. About halfway through the field at this point, aren't we? Uh, I got my oil, oil seed radish seeded on 43. That's all done. Um, as I say, the only field that I haven't seeded is the one in front of me at the end of this field because it's already got fertilizer on it. So there's no point in me putting oil seed radish on that. So I might as well just leave that field until next year. Seed it in the spring. take too long to prune the trees thankfully i don't seem to have as much issues with the collisions with the poles and stuff like i do when i'm subsoiling or mulching So yeah, you have to wait until the harvesting window is over for the grapes before you're allowed to do the, the pruning, tree pruning. Yeah, we're getting rid of all the withered stuff. Field 48 is ready for mowing. Okay. Okay. Um, in which case, might be an idea to have a pack to go and do that. Whoa, laggy lag lag. I 
think the batteries have run out in my controller, ladies and gents. Let me just quickly switch batteries. <laughs> no trouble with this wireless jobbing. And like I say, if I, I can I can use the controller plugged in for the PC with a cable. However, for some weird reason, I then can't use all the buttons that are on the controller in game. So I would much rather use it wirelessly because then I can use all the extra buttons that are on the controller and bind them to like special options and things. Like with my auto drive and with my guidance steering. If I use it plugged in, I can only use the like default Xbox buttons on the controller. I can't use all the extra stuff. So weird, it's a strange one, Matt. Getting through the grapes very nicely. What's my whip set to four meters? That's probably a bit more. feeling out between the trees should be three meters if I put 
DPS on at three meters, that's great. Although it still doesn't work out quite right on this map, obviously. Um, for me, because... Uh, I didn't plant the um, didn't plant the trees quite straight. The grape trees quite straight, actually. Now it's missing. Yeah, it's probably not worth messing around with GPS for this job. You probably just want to make sure you go ahead and... Uh, just trim the trees. So tired. Oh, need an early night tonight. I'm not slept this weekend at all, and I'm suffering for it. Suffering for it big time. I get up early in the morning as well, because tomorrow, Tuesday, is shopping day, so the family goes out and does the, sh the big shopping for the, the week, the weekly big shop, which means I have to get up really super early because I have to babysit the dogs whilst they go out and do the shopping. Because they like to go down, they like to go to the supermarket to like half past seven in the morning. They like to be back home by 9am. Whereas half past seven, I'm just starting to go to sleep at that time of the day. <laughs> For me. Half seven's normally when I'm sort of nodding off, having been up all night. There we go. All the grapes are harvested. I'm not sure what the next task is. Probably going to be a case of. I probably need to do. I probably need to do fertilising, don't I? Yield bonus plus 78%. Why is that only plus 78? Have we mulched? Yeah. We've ploughed. 
It's got to be because of fertilizer. It can only be because I haven't done enough fertilizing. Surely that's got to be it, hasn't it? What is going on with this thing? Why is it all bending at the front? I'm going all twisty and screw with it. GPS should probably work now, I would think. Turn around some more. doing anything yet he's fertilizing then This is having issues. <laughs> There's that thing on the front of the fertilizer tanks moving, and then so is the thing on the tractor. Look. It's too much stuff there moving about. Doesn't need that. The the thing connected to the tractor does not need to pivot about. I don't understand that. Yeah, my, my, my grapes were not planted anywhere near straight, were they? <laughs> well, they were planted straight, they just were planted at the worst angle ever. fix it though, we could fix it, so we could come in here, we do snap the terrain angle off, we could drive all the way down in, then using my 
new best tool. And that should probably follow and snap to the train angle better now of the great trees. Doors. I, I should save this door. Right, well, I guess I can carry on doing this for a little bit today. And then I'll stick with my original plan, which was to bring you guys back at the end of the winter when we're ready to move into the springtime. I just needed to show you some of the weird issues I've had since the update. I've lost crops and I've lost machines. <laughs> Has anybody else experienced strange issues since the update where things in their games are not working properly? If you have had any issues since the last update, drop them in the comment section down below for me, people. Because if I can get a, a good collect up all the different things, I might actually fire them over to Giants and see what Giants have to say about why these things are happening or why we're experiencing the, these issues since updating the game. I think where have I done up to now? I need to do this row next. But yes, folks, I'm going to carry on then get with this off of camera. I will bring you all back. Like I say, end of probably February time. Um, ready to do some cultivating and get fields ready for future seeding. We'll also have all the winter, all the production stuff from the winter to um, get rid of a lot of that to sell so we can start the spring with a lot of money hopefully still possible that we might end up buying some fields I didn't drive down that road. Doesn't seem to matter that much. But I will see you all in the next episode then, everybody. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted by the fertilising. 
and I keep forgetting that I'm actually ending this video. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next episode, everybody. For now, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you all again very soon. Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>